Frankie, we got three Annie's and our first vegan heat and eat today on Boxmark. No. There was a little while there where we were doing vegan shows. Sure. And Nina, she's known for yeah. be being yeah. a vegan. If you looked up her Wikipedia article, it would say Nina is a vegan. Yeah, real estate tycoon, nurse, and vegan. Yeah, <laughs> she's a real estate tycoon, isn't yeah. she? She bought a house with me. Oh, okay. But Annie's, the last time that we had one of their vegan, it was pumpkin. It had a creamy sauce. Oh, and it's just pumpkin mac. It's just pumpkin mac. That's all it is. Well, how yeah. dare they call it mac and cheese They're mac. not, though. They're calling it shells and creamy sauce. I gotta say, I never really read the text, even like right up until when we were doing it. Yeah, I, I think the moment it reached my mouth is when I realized, is this mac and cheese? Yeah, but they're trying to make up for it because now they really do have a vegan mac and cheese. Yeah. Cheddar flavor. Right. Vegan Mac. Now, EJ, EJ brought us a Vegan Mac that he encountered. He found. <laughs> and it's got a hilarious man on the front. He looks so dissatisfied about the possibility of eating macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna go with Forlorn. He's actually 12 and his father has just died and yeah. he is now in charge of running the mill. This vegan mac and cheese mill <laughs> and nobody wants it. And he's got four sisters and a mother with consumption. He looks at me like he's got like a Mr. Darcy thing, kind of a guarded like, but I will die. You hold your tongue. So it's a heat and eat, is it? Yeah, that's what they tell me. So when it's vegan, how could it possibly taste like beef stew? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question, Frankie. Pre-cooked noodles and vegan cheese sauce. There's no apostrophe, there's no bastardization of the word, and it's a mainstay on the menu at our Chicago cafe. We make our signature cheesy mac sauce with real clean ingredients and pair it with cooked noodles. Not All you cheese, need to do is Claire. mix, heat, and eat. And the ingredients list is very small. Durham wheat semolina, sure. nutritional yeast, sure. rice bran oil, sure. sea salt, okay. cornstarch, right. mustard, very well. Onion. That's okay. Garlic. Okay. Paprika. Very well then. Turmeric. Got it. Sugar. Wait a minute, Nina. Not all sugars are vegan. <laughs> Combine both packets into a frying pan over yeah. medium heat for three to five minutes until warm. Frying pan? Alternate instructions. Yep. Combine both packets into a microwave safe bowl and stir. Microwave on high for 60 seconds or until warm. Serve. That's a heat need. This is Annie's organic peace pasta and parmesan, which was donated to the show by one of my coworkers, Dave. Non-vegan. Well, remember, Temple Grandin, she solved animal cruelty. There's somebody uh, in the comments that was like, hardly, the cows continue to die. Uh, and I was like, Nina agrees with you. <laughs> Sometimes our fans go for the what I call the long comment. <laughs> the the long. one I don't read. Sometimes they just disappear up their own ass about like, once I had milk and it turned into cheese. I'll make like a token comment, like thanks for the the feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Lose weight. Thanks for the feedback. Thanks for the feedback. <laughs> You're gonna die next year. Thanks for the feedback. <laughs> so this is a reformulation of Annie's. After 30 years, they celebrated by going back to the kitchen, making hundreds of batches, they claim. I don't buy it for a second. Three batches. <laughs> <laughs> and they say that the noodle got an upgrade for better texture. All right. I guess you gentlemen will be the judge. I'm so excited that Nina gets to try two. I'm thrilled. I'm yeah. super stoked. The last couple of times she tried even vegan Max, she got nauseous, sick, headachey, I just uh, don't gassy, think... cranky, cranky, uh, constipated, con illiterate, <laughs> illiterate, <laughs> unable to operate heavy machinery, <laughs> <laughs> unable to concentrate for long periods of time. Yes. <laughs> and had an erection that wouldn't resolve it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go there, Nina. I couldn't quite get there. You couldn't get it up. Yeah, I couldn't get it up. That's his problem. <laughs> <laughs> he's had an erection for four hours that won't go away. Yeah. And he's gotta go to the ER, but he doesn't know if he should wait another Look at, Look at that, that concentration about, like, if I think of other things. Like disgusting little rainbows. Ooh. Looks like in the Nightmare Before Christmas when, like, that doctor. Oh, <laughs> he opens up his head. The almond milk is with the vegan baking sticks. Let's eat that, wouldn't we? <laughs> Would we? Would we? <laughs> <laughs> Why not just give me the pasta to cook and I'll boil it? That man is looks that way for a reason. Do you remember playing with Play-Doh when you were a kid? Yeah, it smells like Play-Doh. Why does it smell like Play-Doh? The preservative, yeah. Yeah. Is this part necessary? Uh, it is for me. Do any of you regularly eat, heat and eat mac and cheeses? There was a time in my 20s in which I would definitely buy and eat those on a reg. Oh God. Uh, 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 uh. It tastes like, oh God, it smells so fucking horrible. Ooh. Nina, smell it. Smell oh, I don't, don't, don't want to eat it. it. I don't want to eat it, Frank. <laughs> oh God. Can't we just eat the Annie's? Oh God, it's sludge. Remember that Tim Curry song from Fern Gully? <laughs> sludge and slime. Slime beneath me, moon. Slime up above. 
Tim Curry played a sexy, androgynous uh, pile of slime. Slime, my brave man. They really shouldn't have made pollution sexy. <laughs> oh, 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 it's so sludgy. You will all be my guests for dinner. I trust you're hungry. I've made a casserole. It smells so gross. I don't what does it actually smell like? It doesn't smell like beef stew. It smells like it's dog food. Fungus. It smells beefy, but like dog food. You know what it smells like to me? And I don't want to gross everybody out. You know when you pluck leftover food from, oh, your, from, Frankie, from, your, please. from your tonsil? I'm not eating and it. you smell it? Frankie, for the first time, <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. You're not eating it? Not eating it. What? I'm not eating it. Microwave it for 60 seconds, please. <laughs> At least hand Very well. Did you sample these noodles? Yeah. Piece shapes. Yeah. Which, by the way, pretentious. I'm reading this really annoying book right now called Start With Why, and it's about like having like a, an identity for your company. Oh, and I'm like, what's no. what was Red Cow's identity again? Macaroni and cheese videos. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a long time ago, Lord of the Rings by George Lucas. <laughs> oh God, oh God. <laughs> How about a bite? Yeah, okay, it's just smell, food. It smells so synthetic and chemically. It, it smells like- But we read the ingredients Some list. form of rubber. Nina, you know, this is what it takes to be cruelty free. You didn't need to pre-cook the pasta. Nobody thought that was necessary. Did anyone point out the apostrophe after the cha? Yes. Okay, <laughs> cha easy. I love that Nina point. has to eat it. Could you fork me one noodle, Nina, and that will be it. <laughs> and that will be plenty. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nina has to eat it at the same time. No, uh, get away. <laughs> It's vegan. You have to. No, she does not. You remember a certain party at which we made Nina eat a tuna cake, and what happened to poor Nina? She became vegan. <laughs> the weak stomach she over became here. Vegan. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Become like one of those people who eat only shadows? Here we go. Okay. Ready? <laughs> hey. First of all, it's not done at all. Not whatsoever. I put it for ninety seconds. It's hard as a rock. As far as the cheese flavor, it, ta it tastes like get out of my way. Maybe spoiled coffee beans. <laughs> Would you eat that, please? Stop being such a puss. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not. It's mustard and onion and a few chemicals. Focus on those three <laughs> tastes: mustard, <laughs> onion, few chemicals. Mustard, <laughs> onion, few chemicals. Listen to the sound of my voice: mustard, mustard onion, onion, a few, few chemicals. chemicals. I'm gonna look for a noodle that's actually cooked. Oh, <laughs> Nina's not doing great. You need some water, Nina. Oh, okay. Look at Nina. <laughs> oh, look what you did to Nina! <laughs> she's vomiting. Oh. oh my god, she's actually vomiting no, into no, a toilet. No, no, shut up! No, Frankie, I told you not to! I told you not to do it! Just focus. Onions and mustard. Onions and mustard. Onions and mustard. And a few chemicals. Shut this door, bro. <laughs> It's gross, but it's not that gross. I mean, it's not food. It's not vomit <laughs> inducing. It's worse than the Evol, I don't know. Um, no, 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 no. The Evol was absolutely disgusting. Yeah, it's like eating like, I don't know, like a, a ramen packet or something, yeah. you know? It definitely tastes like those MREs, those meals ready to yeah. eat. It's cat puke. It is. No, this won't be that bad. Yeah, it definitely just tastes like spices, goop, and very hard pasta. I don't think it was even the flavor. I don't know if it was the texture, something just... Slime? Slime. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of something funny. I mean, I don't exactly expose myself to nasty food for no reason. Sure, all the time, I understand that. Like Frankie does. There's a reason we're on TV. I'm going to use my new Mac presentation dish. I, I've noticed a lot of this around your apartment. What is this particular? We don't have to talk about it. Well, you already had the mugs, remember, for Christmas? Oh, yeah. Use my Ooh. traditional 70s mugs. These are Platt's Graph, 1976. Basically, I've just changed my dining set over to this set entirely. Why don't we start with the vegan? Vegan first? Yep. It just tastes like noodles and earth. It's not bad at all. It does have like a sharp flavor in it. I like it. It's good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's tasty. It's not super cheesy, at least I, not as I remember. Uh, we're gonna try the Parmesan piece pasta. Tasty. Strong Parmesan flavor. I actually like it. It's kind of unique. We haven't really had a really nice, strong Parmesan Mac before. And usually I give Annie's crap for having really weak flavors, and this is not a weak flavor. No. Let's try the reformulated classic. This is yummier than ever. And it's pretty good. Yeah. It's kind of like com competitive with, um, you know, craft. I think it's still a little bit under that. It's definitely got the Annie's kind of cheese flavor, but there's it's, it's not, stronger and more yeah, intense. Yeah, it's, it's not weak. The noodle is basically the same noodle we've always had. But it's not an inadequate noodle. No, it's okay. So overall, definitely not this. Yeah, EJ can keep his Upton. Yeah, and that guy is right about the prospect of having to eat these noodles. <laughs> I think he's overselling it. All these Annie ones, they're not too bad. I yeah. still prefer the pumpkin mac. Do you really? I, yeah. I prefer the shells. Might be the best vegan mac I've had. 
I think you might be right about that. Because I think it's better than uh, Daya. I didn't like Daya, and I like this, mm. so. You could serve it to me, and I would just think it was like a weird macaroni and cheese, and not vegan at all. We've had way worse dairy mac and cheese. Indeed. <laughs> so. Not a high bar. Well, Frankie, there's some more Walmart Macs we gotta take a look at. Next time on Box Mac. To slice a fat dude with my sweet breath to guide it. Look.